Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyndir, and this is more Skyrim. Modded Skyrim, but Skyrim still. And we are outside of Markarth, because we are going to find Red Eagle's sword. I have put in unique uniques, and I've also put in an enemy AI overhaul, as well as an additional mod for animations for things that are not normally animated. Although I had to disable one part of it, uh, I had to disable the equipping animation because I would end up in an infinite loop with my gear if I didn't. So that was fun. Okay, good, I have them keyed. It's getting to be nighttime, which could be really bad, potentially. Because there's always that chance that there could be some type of night encounter that would completely destroy me. I'm hoping there isn't, but there's always the chance. Come here, goat. Oh, come back, buddy. Oh. Well, that animation bugged out. There's a looting animation, although I'll probably have to tweak the animation times because, as you can see, that took a little while. Although it technically slightly broke down, I guess you could say. Uh, we need to go over there. So if we stick to the road, we'll want to go this way. Whoa. Now, I do believe that there should be Forsworn here. There's a quest I could have picked up to actually deal with this, but I uh, completely forgot about picking up the quest. Does that actually count as a power attack or did it execute? Oh shit. Yeah, I need to tweak the animation times, I think. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh crap. I did not use a different shrine. So I'm going to be in White Run. At the shrine of Talos, I believe. Fun. Hmm. Closest shrine I can think of would either be RK in the Hall of the Dead at Markarth. I'm assuming there's an RK shrine there. And I believe there's a shrine up top. Uh, fun. I'm naked! I am a naked lizard. Fear my skinniness. But where am I? Okay. Bonfire menu. Uh. Oh, not Kindle. Ah, heck with it. Markarth! I'm concerned that if I pick up if I uh, use it normally and get the Estus flasks that there's the chance that I may potentially um, looking for a word there's a chance that I may have issues 
because I may end up with more Estes flasks than I'm supposed to have. I mean, technically I could drop them and let them wash away into nothingness, but I don't know how the mod will actually handle it, which I'll have to figure out. Okay, uh... Bonfire has been set at. Now, a bit idiotic of me to making making jumps like that. I don't have health regen uh, here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm naked. Temple of Debella. The sister. The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. They'll have to come back another time. The sisters are communing I'm with Debella. I'm not planning on they discussing with you. I only came to bind my soul to the shrine. That's probably a dumb idea. Why is there no easy way down from here? Markarth, you are a deeply confusing and obnoxious city. Okay, so, animations. I need to make some adjustments. First of all, put the weapon away in 0.3 seconds. Uh, looting animation length, we'll bring that down to 0.7. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I wonder. Oh, this is the max skill modifier. Uh, actually, that and then... think? Maybe? Possibly? Drinking. Way too long. Go down to the lowest one. Oh, uh, oh, I clicked on something I didn't mean to. And I think praying's fine. I can live with that. Okay. It's currently storming outside, and I have my window open. In case you hear any form of, like, thunder or potentially vehicle noises. You may or may not. I'm not sure whether or not that will actually come through. But we shall find out. In other news, I'm wondering if maybe Expert was a dumb idea. I had assumed that it was, you know, bandits were simple, but they were simple. And honestly, combat wouldn't have really been an issue if I hadn't have animation locked myself. But... I don't know, we'll figure that out. In the meantime... we. Yeah, see? Absolutely nothing. This is what happens when you die like an idiot. Okay. My athletic skill is increased to 10. Those don't actually count towards real level ups. It just increases my speed, I think. Silver or vein. Whoa. 
sneak increased to 12. Armsman sword. No, oh, everything's still favorited. The number's still good? No. I was worried about this. I would like to drop three of them, please. Oh, I forgot to re-equip my armor. Really shouldn't do that. Okay. 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 Oh. So, damage 19 is it? It's worse than what I'm doing. I hurt somebody else. There you are. Yeah, I'm not sure I like the actual slowdown caused by blocking. Cloak Forsworn. I'll, I don't know what it is, but I have this obsession with collecting cloaks. <laughs> Forsworn headdress. I wish... See, this is what the looting animation looks like. It's just, if you're moving at all, I notice it tends to break animations. Not with just this, but just basically any mod. What does this look like? <laughs> Uh, that looks as comical as some of the uh, Dark Souls headpieces. Anyhow, back to the nonsense I was working on getting myself killed with. This is just a Red Eagle sword. Uh, auto save, or quick save rather. The saves are entirely designed. The only reason I'm doing them is they're entirely for the purpose of crash prevention. The only time, oh, see, I was moving, so it broke. But if I were to say stop at the next set of blue flowers, I find it's a cave here. If I were to stop the next set of flowers, I find then and actually stop and then press it, then I, I'll, I'll just show it with this one. Eh? No, no, it... It slightly bugged out because it magneted me. Okay, let's stand closer. Huh. I don't know. The whole point is, though, is I'm intentionally putting in the animation lock. Because I think it'll make it so I can't just chug potions and be safe. Okay, it looks like there should be some sort of a road, maybe, over here across the water. Oh, clay deposit. I thought it looked like a bedroll for a second. I was thinking, hmm, that is a curious place for a bedroll. I just had a consideration. I should actually... Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to get a sprint jump in. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone, but that's the wind coming in from outside. I might have to actually get up and close my window if that keeps up. Don't do anything silly. Stupid mud crab. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, still going this way. I see, I see. You could argue that having the quest markers is very non Dark Souls y, but this is Skyrim. They don't exactly give you thorough instructions of any form.
Ow. Time to finish this. That was close. Ow. Eh. Ow. You know what? I think I'm going to impose a limit on myself. I'm only going to level up when next to a bonfire. Because it'll, I think, improve the overall feel. And, well, that's part of the goal here. To make Skyrim feel more like Dark Souls while still maintaining Skyrim aspects. Basically, trying to blend two games that are pretty good together. Ooh. Uh, I forget the name of this load screen mod is, by the way. I I really should make a list of mods to put into every episode, which I will probably do. Oops. Sword was already out. Okay, so that should have auto-saved us. Wow, it is dark in here. Uh... Hello? Oh. Hey. The only problem with the kill moves is I'm not sure what actually triggers them. Because it seems like sometimes you'll kill people long before you should be killing them. You know what I mean? Like, that guy should have had another hit before the kill move came into play, I think. Oh. I'm lucky that didn't hurt me. This is this is one of the downsides of the animation mod. <laughs> Looting on steps is apparently very very risky. Uh, hmm. I wonder. Question is, what do I wonder? I forget now. I have eight flasks. Oh, it's mighty dark in here. I actually really like it. I think that means that whenever I'm actually in a cave, it gives the very, like, it gives a good feel. You know what I mean? And it also makes me use torches more, which are something I normally don't use. I wish there was the... Actually, I didn't look. I wonder if there's 
potentially the option to not put your weapon away. Or maybe I'll just reduce the, t the, uh, the time to zero, because honestly, I think the sword sheathing animation is actually messing with the overall timing on the animations. You know what? Let's have a look. Uh... From the looks of it, if I set to zero, I'll have to see how that functions. Okay. Oh, ooh. Woo! Animation frames! I think I might reduce the, uh... Kill move frequency. Yeah. Let's do that. Cause... whoops. 20% seems a bit too high. So we'll change that. Uh, kill moves that would be... Decapitations. Let's just turn that up to 30. It's it's still the same kill move uh, frequency, 10%. It's just that's the percentage of the kill moves that I do that'll be decapitations. But I shouldn't actually... Ooh, crap. Ow. I knew that was a dumb idea. That's what I think of your yielding. You okay, yeah, so... Removing the... No, oh, it still does it. Annoying. Uh, you know what will take the hood? But it's not an armored hood, which I would have preferred. Where are you? Up there? Ah, uh, crap. Why am I looting? First of all, these guys never have anything good on them. I've noticed that already. But I put myself at risk by looting. Ha! Take that. Okay, you. See, that one was fine. Because I think he was going to die in that case already. Another one around somewhere, I heard them. Uh, let's see. Chair. It hurts! Um, guy? You're in the building. <sighs> Do I have anything that can help me here? The 
female's the archer or the, the mage, right? Oh, hey. No Who? Huh? Okay. Okay, that was the guy that I had already nearly killed, so... Whew! Poison. Okay, here's the plan. Bomb rush! Accidentally unbind off of six. Or rebind to six, I should say. I don't know why I'm bothering checking them. Uh really? There's still another guy. Where is he? Ow! Okay, he's an archer. Can't see me if I loot this chest from here. Okay. Forsworn are tough bastards. Gold, garnet, human flesh, and orcish sword, huh? Red equals fury, and another blast of wind. Okay. Okay. There. That should solve that. Uh, is there any treasure chest floating around here? Ooh. Red Eagle's right. Having bathed the blade in human blood, present it at Rebel's Cairn, together with your sacrifice and in tone. Lord Eagle's ancient... Lord Red Eagle, ancient one, first and foremost among Reachmen, heed the call of your people. Still we fight for freedom, still our blades are dark with blood. Turn your gaze upon us and grant us your blessing anew. I renew the ancient covenant. When at last our lands are free, we shall return your sword of victory. Uh, shall return your sword of victory in hand. Then arise, O great one, from your honored tomb. Reclaim thy stolen throne. Rule over us, high lord of the reach, forevermore. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, and a loot chest. Ignore the slight clipping. Uh, Iron Sword of Sparks, hey, good for selling. Staff of Fury and Gold. Is there anything else meaningful in here? Let's put on a torch. Stamina, like painted round shield, hide boots. Looks to be everything immediately here. Ooh. Can I pick this door? What? Oh! Red Eagle Tower Key. Completely didn't even realize that I had picked that up.
I'm not sure how I feel about the animation mod. I think it's actually a good addition because it means that, oh, I'm not just going to chug potions in combat. But the whole unequip of my weapon thing is kind of obnoxious and I'd say possibly slightly pointless. And half the time the animations don't work, unfortunately. It's a good mod. Like, I like the concept that it does, but it seems to be very, very glitchy. Okay. Uh, right, I need to go down. Is down an option? Down is not an option. Really? Oh, I was right here. Okay. Ooh. Healing potion and soul gem. I think. Oh. Activate door bar, iron door. So. Unlock the secret of Red Eagle's tomb. This way? I'm coming, Red Eagle. How many flasks? I have four Estus flasks left. Whew! Two Rebels can. I'm wondering if maybe the next time I go to do something like this, I shouldn't, you know, say, wait. I think I'm going to stop using the standard weight feature. I think I'm only going to use beds and bedrolls and whatnot. Okay, so... Oh, I did put unique uniques in. I don't remember if I mentioned that. Which is why that's now a cutlassy looking thing. Actually... I didn't read what the Fury does. Burns the target... Targets on fire take extra fire damage. Okay. What do we have down here? It's a very large crypt. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Nope. 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 <sighs> Unbroken. Unbroken. So... That was a complete pain to kill. Okay, I need to get them up in melee. Oh, they timed out. Uh, crap. Okay.
Let's get back into the big open crypt here. Coming, Red Eagle. Two Estus flasks. Whew! Uh, hello? Red Eagle? Uh, are you coming? Yeah, I didn't think that would help, but I tried anyhow. Made a mistake. Run. Oral high ground. Okay. That was my last Estus flask. I have to be very careful. Okay, that's not good. Shit. That is not good. At least it will be in the sisters are communing with Markarth. The they can't be disturbed. You'll have to come back another time. The sisters are communing with the Bella. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll have to come back another time. I'm pretty sure I had no Estus flasks left, so I shouldn't end up in another one of that situation from before. But I think what I'll probably do is cut till we're back over there, because even if I do encounter something, I'm just going to be running. Oh, and I think I'll permit myself to use weight at bonfires, because I'd prefer it to be daytime. The cow is one of Skyrim's most common domestic animals. It provides... Anyhow, I will meet back up with you over there. Alright, we are here. I picked up some gear off the Forsworn corpses, in case I encountered anything along the way. Those bones were my corpse. I saw them laying there and I was like, was that added by the mod as in place of my corpse, basically? And the answer is yes. Yes, it was. Imperial shield, gauntlets, boots, sling, luck. One, three, two, and six. I just realized, because I hadn't actually kindled that fire, I only get five from it. So that'll make things tougher. Okay. Red Eagle! Oh, Red Eagle! Now... 
What's your health level at? Are you still hurt or did you regen? Oh, you're still hurt. <sighs> That's disappointing. It kind of upsets me. I mean, I could probably use a console command to reset his health, but... That's just not the same. Oh yeah, no wonder he was kicking my ass. Okay, so... What do we have here? We have some soul gems. A steel longsword. Not worth a whole lot, but it's worth something. Uh, steel gauntlets, not worth, like, anything at all. Potion of healing. Coin purse. Uh, apparently, you do the loot animation for coin purses. Whatever. What? I don't know if I want to use that, simply because it seems way too strong. You can't see it on that screen, but if I look at my weapon, it should show it off. Yeah. It gives a 40% damage increase. See, one hand attacks do 40% more damage. That's uh, the help of more HUD that's giving me that information. This is the chest opening animation. A humanity. Sure grip. That heavy painted kite shield. Uh, spell tomb fury. Uh, that's kind of funny because it makes sense. Twenty six versus twenty seven. The thing is, I don't actually want to be using the Imperial Shield. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it at the moment. But, I'd prefer to have it... No, I want to unfavor it. I don't really want to do the... Have, like, Imperial equipment on unless I'm doing the Civil War and I'm working for the Imperials. Which, I'll probably do eventually. I just really need to get a feel for how you know, strong I am at the current level. Ooh. Right. I can come out here and grab the sword now. Ooh. Ooh shiny. Red Eagle's Bane. What does Red Eagle's Bane do? 24 damage and undead are set on fire and flee for 30 seconds. It does more damage than my current sword. I'd be in a fool not to use it. The problem is, just because it's modified by Unique Uniques, it's now over there. I've got a cutlass. I think it might be slower than my other sword, actually. I think I have quest reward leveler in place. Uh, I don't know if it will just level quest items periodically. Or if I have to actually go to the thing in Riverwood. I assume I have to go to the thing in Riverwood. But this should be of level currently because obviously I just got it and I haven't leveled up yet. But the fun part's going to be getting back to town. Actually, that shouldn't be hard. That should actually be really simple. As long as I run the right way. Uh, you know what? Can I make it... Can I adjust the camera animation-y thing? Camera movement. I don't know... I wish I could disable the camera rotation entirely, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to Markarth. It should be there, I can't really see. Because of the depth of field. Although I like it at static, because static doesn't really hurt performance too much. 
but it makes the foreground stick out, if you know what I mean. Like, if I disable it, it doesn't give you the feel that that's far off. Like, that'll actually feel really close. I'm not a huge fan of dynamic depth of field because it's always done wrong. Oh. Oh, crap. I really don't want to tangle with them. This is Karth Spire. I don't want to be here. Oh, that's a Hagraven. Mount. Mount. Running is always an option. Running is always an option. Putting the sword away. Yeah, I don't... I kind of like the look of Red Eagle's cloak, besides the fact that all cloaks make my tail disappear, which annoys me deeply. I wonder if there's any potential uh, cloaks of Skyrim edit, or maybe even, like, someone else has made a patch that makes it so it doesn't delete my tail. Yes, I'm aware my tail will clip through the cloak if I do that, but... I like my tail. It's one of the big re reasons to be an Argonian. I mean, come on. Why is my tail glowing? Um, please tell me that I can get up out of the water over here like I hoped I could. Let me up. Let up me up. You know, realistically, I could cut. Until I mark Arthur. But I did wait. But Mark Arth is this way. That one will get me there, but it'll do, it'll be the long way. Also for the harvesting animation, it just uses the looting animation that you saw in that chest. So Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I need to level up, I'm aware. This episode is gonna be really long. I'm also aware. My food's getting cold. I'm also aware. Do I have any stamina potions? Oh, what did I do? I accidentally unequipped my sword. Do I have any stamina potions? I do. There. Now I can run more and get back quicker. Oh, out of stamina. Your athletic skill has increased to 12. I don't know if the athletic skill will reduce the stamina required for running, or if it'll just, like, increase my speeds. If it increases my speeds, depending on how much it does it by, it should be okay. But... Oh, come on, stormy weather. But... I don't know. See, animations look fine if you're not, you know, in combat and have a weapon out. They actually look really good. But, who knows? I think I'll try to keep using it, and if I get really fed up with a bunch of stuff... Maybe I'll just leave the uh, potion animation in, because I think the potion animation adds a whole new aspect to the combat, making it harder and more, like, Dark Souls. Where, you know, you're effectively a sitting duck while drinking your potion. I mean, yeah, you know, you get healed instantly at the beginning of it, and then it does the animation, but I think that's a technical limitation that can't be done dealt with. And with how quickly I'll die, I don't think that'll mean too much. You don't know anything about this house. Anyone see an injury or leaving? Quest of Bolag Ball. Well, that bugged. And now it's unbugged. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. This way. Up here. This is where the bonfire is. Okay, 
Oh, I can't do anything. Unless... Well, I can't open the tab screen. You know, I'm curious. I don't actually know what the magic menu... Not magic. Stats? Slash. Uh, uh, clicking. What? I have two levels. I've gained two levels. Are you serious? Strength, endurance, and agility. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's kindle this bonfire, because we got the humanity from the Forsworn Cave nearby, so... I think it's only right if I kindle this bonfire with that humanity. So, here's my infinite question now. I'm up to 83 health. That's a 10 health increase from those two levels. I'll take it. And we have 105 stamina, which I'll also take. Uh, I'm going to have to look into what the different stats affect. Um, I do know that... Oh, right. I did favorite it, didn't I? Do this to have a look at them. Strength increases damage of one-handed and two-handed weapons, as well as unarmed attacks. It influences your maximum stamina and carrying capacity. This is the governing attribute for one-handed and two-handed. Endurance increases your maximum health and stamina. Uh, and... Stamina regeneration. Influences the amount of damage you block and the amount of health you regain from spells and potions. It is the governing attribute for block, heavy armor, and smithing. Intelligence increases your maximum magicka and lower spell cost and the charge cost of enchanted weapons and staves. It fur further increases your leveling speed and the magnitude of your potions and enchantments. It is the governing attribute for alchemy, conjuration, and enchanting. Willpower increases your magicka regeneration, your resistance to magic effects, and your maximum stamina. It also increases your power and critical attack damage. It is the governing attribute for alteration, destruction, and restoration. Agility increases your damage with ranged weapons, as well as your maximum stamina and critical hit chance. It also improves the success chance of lockpicking, pickpocket, and sneaking. It is the governing attribute for archery, lockpicking, and sneak. Speed increases your running and sprinting speed, your attack speed with weapons, and your chance to successfully dodge an attack. Dodge? It is govern the governing attribute for light armor. Personality influences your plans and selling prices, and your chance to successfully persuade and intimidate people is a governing attribute for illusion of speech. Expected. Luck influences everything you do by a small amount. You might even come upon better loot. So that ring of luck, it's the equivalent of... I th almost feel like there's almost an equivalent item in Dark Souls. And there is a mod that adds, I think, all the Dark Souls rings into the game, but that might be a bit much, I think. Who knows. But we got ourselves a sweet new cutlass. And I think I kind of like the idea of not having a helmet on. The extra armor increases difficulty. But uh, I'm going to call this good. I'm going to save over this one, because we're now in Markarth. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.